To balance the net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus FeCl3, and this is sodium phosphate and iron 3 chloride, we'll use these rules here. First thing with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. You can see I have three chlorines here, one here, three sodiums, and just one. If I put a three here, that fixes the sodiums and the chlorines. I have one iron, that's okay, phosphate, and a phosphate. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, sodium compounds are very soluble. So AQ, that's going to dissolve. Chlorides, those are going to be soluble as well. Now we have sodium chloride, that'll be soluble. But this iron phosphate, iron 3 phosphate, phosphates often are not soluble. So I just want to check and look this one up here. We're looking for iron 3 all the way over here, phosphate. So you see this I here, that means it's insoluble. Iron 3 phosphate's insoluble, it won't dissolve in water. So we're going to write an S because it's going to be a solid. In fact, when these two substances combine, they react. This will be a solid, you'll see it fall to the bottom of the test tube. It'll be a precipitate. So we have the states. Now we split the strong electrolytes into ions. This will be the complete ionic equation. Sodium is in group 1 on the periodic table, has a 1 plus charge, and then the whole phosphate ion, 3 minus, good one to remember. Iron we can't tell, it's a transition metal, but we have the chloride here, that's going to be 1 minus, so this has to be 3 plus, since we have 3 of those. Sodium's a positive, chlorine is a negative, and then we're not going to worry about this because it's a solid. So we have 3 sodium ions, and I'll write aqueous at the end, let's not do that now plus the phosphate ion, just one of those, plus one iron 3 ion, and then we have three chloride ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have three sodium ions, just like in the reactants, and then three chloride ions. Because this is a solid, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we're just going to write FePO4. So this is the total or complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides. Let's see. Reactants and products. Three sodium ions and then in the products. Three sodium ions. Three chloride ions and again in the products. We have three of those. They're gone. And what's left? That's the net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus iron 3 chloride. I'll clean this up, write the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus FeCl3. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion there put first. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. Maybe it looks a little nicer. You'll notice that charge is conserved. We have a 3 plus and a 3 minus. Balance out, net charge of 0. And this is neutral, net charge of 0. And if you count the atoms up, they're the same on both sides. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus iron 3 chloride. Thanks for watching.